So the figure below is made out of uh, identical squares. You can see six squares and quadrants. Okay, so what are quadrants? So basically there are uh, two types of quadrant, the big one, okay? Let me get the spotlights out. So these are big quadrants, okay? Then there are the small quadrants here. Okay, let's focus on this first. Okay, let's focus on these parts first. Also be careful, the question is asking for unshaded parts. So most, most children, uh, when they read the question, right, they look at the diagram straight away, they assume the question is asking for shaded parts. Don't, okay? Don't fall in this kind of trick. So first thing you do is you look for this boomerang. Okay, this is how I will approach a question, this boomerang. To find a boomerang, very simple. You use the area of a square, which is this square. Take away, take away this quadrant. You, you, you will get the boomerang, okay? So area of square is 10 times 10, 100, because the size is 10, right? Now, this is the quadrant that you need to subtract away from the square. So you use a hundred, take away the quadrant, you get the boomerang, which is A, okay? So you see, the big quadrant is one quarter times pi, times 10, times 10, times 10. Okay, be careful. Most, most of the time you get it right. The only time you get it wrong is because you use the wrong radius, okay? So be very careful when you're applying uh, the formula of circle. Get the correct radius. So area of the quadrant is 78.5. And you subtract 100, subtract 78.5, you get the boomerang A. You also notice over here, you got an, an identical boomerang. We call it B, okay? So B will also be 21.5. Next, let's look at this part. This is also another unshaded part. Let's name it C, okay? This is a petal. Notice this is a petal. How do you find a petal? Okay, let me tell you. Huh? A petal is inside a quadrant. Okay? Notice a petal inside a quadrant. So what I do is I use the area of the quadrant. I subtract away the area of the triangle over here. This triangle. So first I find the area of quadrant first. One quarter times pi times five times five. Again, you've got to be very careful what's the radius. The radius is five, okay? From here to here, five. Any question? So this is the area of the small quadrant. Any question? Okay, you find the area of quadrants, then you take away the triangle here. So let's find the area of triangle. Again, the area of triangle is half times base, which is again is five. The base is five, which is also the radius of a small quadrant. The height is five. So the triangle is half times base times height so 5 times 5, half times 5 times 5 is 12.5. So if I use 19.625, which is the core small quadrant, I subtract the area of the triangle, I get 7.125. Where is 7.125? This is 7.125, okay? Which is half a petal. So if I use 7.125 multiplied by 2, I get the entire petal, which is C. Correct? Easy, huh? Until here. Now look here. Look at now look at these two. So there's two ways to solve these, okay? The long way is to find the area of the boomerang plus the area of the quadrant and then add together. The shortcut will be this. You cut this and you put it here. If you cut this boomerang and you put it here, you get a small square. So it's much easier, right? The area of small square is simply five times five, 25. So now we've got everything. So area of the unshaded parts will be area of A plus area of B plus the area of C plus the area of the square over here. So the total area of the unshaded parts is 82.25. Any question? Any questions? So it's pretty easy, right? That's good, good. 
No question, good. Let's move on. Huh? Just remember the building blocks of the circles. Okay. 